Hey guys, so today I decided to do something a little different. I know I have a bunch of updates for the tank, and I wanted to give you a rundown of my system, and I figured I'd do it vlog style so I didn't have to go through all the editing. Okay, so first of all, let's start out with this. I have two Chinese black box full spectrum lights now hanging above the tank. This is the new one. Um, I love these lights. I think they grow coral just great and for the money that you pay for them I don't see you doing any better. Uh, again it's a 90 gallon Reef Ready tank. Um, some of the new additions are I got a purple Digitata and a red even though it's looking kind of pink right now a red Montepore Digitata and here is the mushroom rock excuse the blue lights it's kind of early in, in the morning there's the piece of Hollywood Stunner Chalice that was so small and now it's growing by leaps and bounds I don't know whether you can pick it up here because all the fish are in the way but it sprouted these three fingers and that's the most recent growth spurt so I'll have to see what happens from there <coughs> Excuse me. the newest addition to the Zoas is I have I bought this as a, a frag with two heads of utter chaos and now they have uh, tripled in size since I've glued the Zoas to this rock they seem to have taken off something that I never could do before so I'm pretty happy about that my anemones are getting bigger and I'm very happy that they decided to stay in, in the middle of this rock for now so I'm loving that this piece of purple stylophora it's a very slow grower but it is encrusting somewhat one of the disappointments I have right now and I'm fighting is this Duncan colony decided to withdraw and I was just starting to come out I put it under a, a ledge so it's shaded even though you can't really tell that on the video and it's starting to come out more and more every day the fungia plate still doing the same my Duncans are um, I mean my Acans are still orange these went from red and like a teal ring to now orange with a teal ring don't know but they're doing good my hammer coral frag is doing great I picked this torch up at Reefer Palooza New York and it's just doing great this acro uh, I picked up from my LFS I don't know what it is it has had some bleaching I don't know whether I can pick that up. Right there. My paddle boo will get out of the way. But it's not spreading and it's starting to come back since I changed its location. And of course, the frog spawn is getting bigger and bigger. My clowns have hosted this and they won't go near the anemones. And let's see if I can pick it up. They are. See if the camera. Will... I don't think the camera's gonna clear up on for me. But there are eggs right there. Okay. Fish-wise, I showed you the clowns, fox face and yellow tang, the powder blue. My hippo tang is hiding under the rock right now. But all these fish are doing really well, and they're getting fat. I had a little bit, oh there's, there's the hippo. Okay, uh, I had a little problem with algae, so what I decided to do is try out these mollies. Um, they were from my LFS, and I've got two of them in the tank. Don't know where the other one is right now. But they were acclimated to salt water. They've been in my system about two weeks now, and they're doing great. So, 
The one thing I do have a problem with that I'm rectifying hopefully soon is flow. I gotta increase my flow in this tank. Um, so I'm looking to get uh, the JBO CP25. Uh, it's kind of like the gyre kind of pump. So we'll see what happens. All right, underneath, excuse the mess. I got a, the SEA skimmer, the 302, is doing great. It's almost five years old now, and it goes 24-7. So that's really, really, I'm really impressed with that skimmer, and it's probably the best money I spent. Uh, here's my Fugium. I have uh, some Calerpa and some Chato. Right now it's glass bottom. I don't know what I'm going to change that. I've been doing pretty good with that. I used to run uh, Miracle Mud, but I may go back to that. Uh, JBJ Auto Top Off. I'll show you more of the other side of the Auto Top Off. Uh, this is my quarantine tank. It's empty now. Uh, hopefully, within the near future, I'll be stocking that with some more fish. And last but not least, this is how I prepare my order top off water. It's it has calcwasser and uh, white vinegar in it, and all my dosing is handled through that. I leave it alone and don't mess with it, and all my parameters are pretty much rock solid. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is just the a little tray that I have with, with my food in it. I got some reef chili, some Thera A, Omega 1, and Omega 1 gar um, seaweed, and some garlic. That's been there forever because I really don't dose garlic. I will be getting some Celcon and some Marine C that I will be mixing with the food. Uh, besides this, they eat uh, mysis and pretty much anything I put in the tank. And I use raw shrimp for my anemones. I do dose also acro power, and the polyp extension after I started doing this is unbelievable. So, well, that's pretty much it for the update. Uh, oh, one more thing. I did change, you could tell from the first video, my background. What I did was is I went to a local craft store and picked up some ultramarine blue acrylic paint that comes in the tubes and some black. I used the whole tube of the ultramarine and still wasn't happy with the color uh, but once I put the black behind it, it darkened up. And I'm really liking the result of how that looks. I wonder if I can turn my whites up a little bit if it'll show them off. That's pretty good. Okay, so again, that's about it for now. Uh, I hope to be loading and uploading videos more often than not. It's just with my son home from school, life gets pretty crazy, you know how that is. Okay, uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, Talk to you soon.